Hey, this is Stacy Drake here, and I know this isn't my usual, like, fancy outfit, and it's also not my usual studio. Mm -hmm. But, this video is about some, like, updates on the railroads. New Jersey Transit is, like, entirely affected by service adjustments for positive train control to be installed. So they're gonna be, like, the first one doing it. <laughs> then... Then there's the Long Island Railroad, like, to do Harold interlocking work. The Babylon branch, as you guessed it, still has three trains per hour in some areas. And then the main line. Yes, we did see that improvement from last, last, from the beginning of last summer when they finally listened to people like Pine Power and put half-hourly service from Huntington, and w every one and a half hours or 90 minutes between Huntington and Port Jefferson. Yeah, because that is much needed. They, I mean, one hour, one train per hour is not okay for Mineola or anywhere on the, on the Huntington branch. But they still do it on weekdays. But weekdays, not as busy. Unless it's a rush hour. Then on Metro North, there were delays on the Hudson Line. Due to, the, due to this track work in Yonkers. There's also... Lots of problems persisting on New Jersey Transit. Like... The... Like, so many problems, like lack of conductors and engineers, not enough of them, many, many, like, repairs at some stations needed, with, like, elevators and escalators. However, I really like riding on New, Jer New Jersey Transit whenever I do. I'm not from that area. I'm, I'm more of a Metro North rider. From where I am. But seeing a change from the M7s I usually take, and then taking by levels and Comet 5s, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so, the news on this is see it all view alert. <laughs> see all of you alert. And then, coming to you on the MTA website. That's the, the service. And yes, the Pascac and Port Jervis lines also count for New Jersey Transit's project. There are minor delays on the water bar, it's just a mid missed connection. And there's also some, like, pro some, like, changes on the Harlem line that have been there. Since, since a long time ago, like Crestwood originators and terminators during off-peak hours, expresses to southeast that make a stop at Crestwood instead of Scarsdale only, and lots of other things to allow the single track between Crestwood and North White Plains to add, like, to add... I think it's positive train control, but I may be wrong, to the second track. And this is why they're doing the triple track project in, on the Harlem line. Soon. Just like the same reason they're doing the triple track project on the Long Island Railroad main line. But I really think that Mineola, Mineola should have had access to all three tracks. <laughs> because the Oyster Bay branch need, needs it. Otherwise, they'd be making their first stop at East Williston.
So that is it for now. Bye.